In 2018, Chi released the X Man Wingy Scoob, and this Scoob is brilliant. By 2022, they released the version 2, which I'm so excited to check out in this video. Now, if the version 1 is very good and it's Carly, my new maid, like with this Scoob, you cannot go wrong with it. But speedcubing.org very kindly sent me the version 2, and let's check it out. And it should have a lot more cool features that the V1 didn't have. Hopefully, it's going to be a new main. Without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing wow wingy v2 bubble wrap that's very nice this package is not exactly what we want we want the actual cube which is right here this is a nice box thank you so much to speedcubing.org for sending me this cube and if you're looking to buy any types of puzzles from their store including this one right here you can use the discount code speedygoncuba to get five percent off your order how much will i have to shake it for it to actually open Let's go! Oh, this isn't a scoop. There's this red thing. It looks like a box, but what is underneath? This scoop! Yes! Even though it's still in this plastic wrapping, it feels way lighter than the version one, which is great because with lighter cubes, they must be a lot easier to hold. We have this red adjustment thing, but who cares about the adjustments first when we just wanna check out this cube? And this is so light. Like I could like throw this up and catch it really, really easily. Considering I really like the GAN 11 M Pro 3x3, I know that's like completely different to what a cube is. I really like cubes that are light. And we've got a scoop that's light, so let's do first turns. Oh, interesting. Feels very fast. It might be hard to control. This is how the version one feels, a lot more broken in. This feels a lot faster. I'm kind of worried that it would be easy to overshoot. I'm going to do a solve. And if you're wondering, I average around six or seven seconds on the version one. Three, two, one, go. So I don't know how long that was, but that felt pretty good. It felt like the turns were quite easy to do. It also feels like a really, really quiet scoop. Just listen to this. Maybe it could just be because it's just out of the box and usually cubes are quite out of the box. I'm not really sure. So I don't really know if you need to test corner cutting on a scoop, but okay, I don't really know how to do it. <laughs> What have I done here? <laughs> now, one of the biggest upgrades from the Wingy V1 to the Wingy V2 is about the adjustability. So that what seems to be in this red box over here. So if you don't already know how to solve a scream, you can definitely read through these instructions. Although I already know how to solve a scream, so I can just throw that away. And there's also this, which I think is an instructional guide on how to set up the scoop, which is what I'm going to do to make all the adjustments that you couldn't do on this scoop, but you can do on the new scoop. So let's take a look at these instructions to work out how we can adjust this scoop. So I believe like for each type of adjustment, there's about five different settings. Now what I've noticed over here is that there's two different options for adjusting it. And that's called a dual adjustment system. Now you turn it clockwise to adjust the tensions and you turn it anti-clockwise to adjust the axis distance. The higher the number, I guess the tighter the tensions are. So I'm going to try to make this scoop be the tightest it can possibly be by setting both settings to five. So I'm just gonna keep turning it until we land on five of the tensions. You probably can't see because the camera's not really focusing, but it's on setting five. It should be the tightest one. And now I'm gonna turn this top bit anti-clockwise until we also land on five. And yeah, now we're going to have a really tight scoop. I'm going to also make that adjustment for every other corner piece. After adjusting all the settings to five, let's see how this turns. I mean, it feels kind of similar, but I can definitely notice it does feel a lot tighter. Yeah, I think this is too tight for my personal preference. I obviously won't keep it this way. And I'm sure if I tried to do some corner cutting, it probably wouldn't work as well. Um, on this setting, I might be more likely to look up. It feels a lot slower, which is nice because when I tried this out of the box, it was definitely like so much faster than the version one, but now it feels like it's kind of caught up. But then again, I do really like the fast feel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to change all the settings to one and see how loose this scoop can become. So now I've adjusted the dual adjustment system to the loosest it could possibly be. Let's do some turns. 
Wow, this is so fast. Uncontrollably fast. It's quite nice turning a scheme that's this fast. But like, do I think it's going to be controllable? Definitely not. I doubt it. So I'd like to go somewhere in between like the default setting and this setting, which is going to be setting two. So I'm now going to adjust everything to setting two and see if I like it. And there we go, I've now adjusted every setting to two and two. Definitely feels like more controllable, but also like a lot faster than the default setting. But the thing is, this is only really like the beginning of me trying this cube. I'm gonna like keep on doing solves on this cube because I obviously won't know like what setting is my favorite until I've done enough solves. Now that I'm happy with my tensions, it's time to adjust the magnet. So I'm going to take a corner piece off and it looks like here is the place where we can adjust the magnets. You could either move it, I think clockwise or anti-clockwise. And when I read the instructions, it said that there's five different settings so I'm just gonna see how this works. I don't really know which one is the stronger one and which one is the weaker one. It looks like over here there's a plus and a minus, but maybe I'll just move it so that the plus is closer to the circle, which is either the stronger setting or the weaker setting. I don't really know which one. As soon as we adjust every single one, we'll know whether this is strong or this is weak. So now that I've adjusted the magnet strength, let's do some turns. I think this feels stronger. I'm now going to do the opposite and adjust the magnets so that it's then on the weaker setting. Let's do some turns. Wait, what? This, this feels stronger. So maybe when it was strong, that was weak. That is really weird. Maybe minus is the stronger setting and plus is the weaker setting. Let's just adjust it back to the weaker setting, which is what I thought was the stronger setting. Now I'm back on the weaker setting and oh yes, the magnets are definitely weaker. I guess I was just stupid before. I expected the weaker setting to be a lot weaker. Considering like the weaker magnets, you still like feel the magnets and it still feels pretty strong. I actually quite like the weaker magnet. I don't know if this would be too uncontrollable. To see if this will be controllable enough for me, I'm going to go ahead and do some solves and see how quickly I can do it with my personal preference settings. But actually, before I do that, I should probably put some lube in the puzzle because I haven't lubricated it yet. And of course, when I get a new cube, whoa, I put in way too much lube. I guess the lube has kind of helped. Overall, very nice. A lot better than the version one. I absolutely love the feel of this so i'm going to do some solves now and let's see what times i can get now obviously this is a little bit different because i have a camera right in front of me I'm just doing some solves for fun right now three two one and go Seven point one two. That's pretty good for a first solve. Anything like seven seconds or faster would be really good for me, especially like when I've only like just started using this cube. And obviously, it takes time to get used to new puzzles. Oh, six eighty. That's nice. Yes, 696, let's go. Yes, 397. This cube is definitely my new mate. That's like got to be like one of my best solves ever. I would never get some times like that on my old cube. One more solve to finish off my average of five. No. I looked up. Oh, it felt like the cube was about to break. So maybe this cube is on a bit loose tensions, but we get a 587. My first average is 6.54 seconds. Is a brilliant sign considering I averaged seven seconds on this cube. After using the X Man Wingy V2M scheme for a couple days now, here are my thoughts. I love the speed of this scheme. I averaged seven seconds on my previous scheme, and now I average closer to six seconds. This scoop has made me faster. If you're currently using the Wingy version 1, I would highly recommend upgrading to the V2. One main drawback I find about this scoop is that it's very difficult to choose the right setting for you. I had to change the settings multiple times until I found out what was right for me. There were some settings that made the puzzle be really fast, but too loose and uncontrollable. Some of them felt too tight, so it's quite hard to choose the right setting. So after loads of trial and error changing the settings multiple times, I now have my axis distance set to 2. 
2 and elasticity set to 3 and I have my magnet set on the second strongest setting. Even now I'm still not exactly sure if this is the right setting for me but this setting seems to best work for me at the moment. I have noticed occasional corner twist and pops on this scoop but it rarely happens to me so I don't think this is a huge problem. Overall I'm tremendously satisfied with this scoop and it's my new main. It's incredible having 125 settings to choose from, making it work for almost every cuber's personal preference. I haven't actually tried the Gan skew before, but I've heard people saying that it's better than the Wingy, so I can't prove to you guys that this is the best skew on the market, but it's definitely the best skew I've ever tried, so I would highly recommend it. If you've tried the Wingy skew before, feel free to let us know in the comments. This scoop costs £19 on speedcubing.org. Thank you so much to speedcubing.org for sending this skew for me to, for free to review. Remember, you can use the discount code SpeedyGonCuba to get 5% off your order. Subscribe for weekly cubing videos and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Happy cubing and have an amazing day.